Good evening, my friends. Greetings and salutations to all my good friends. I am the energy and consciousness of the black and purple unicorn. I come to you from the planet Venus. If I were a man, you would you would know that my clothing is purple. Purple symbolizes and signifies a lot of things. Royalty, spirituality, intuition, the consciousness at its highest frequency. It also symbolizes the third eye. Yes. I come to you with a message of new overstanding. And for the illiterate, let's say understanding, because a lot of you are standing under higher concepts, if I may say that. The idea is for personal conscious change. There's a pole shift taking place within the next three to four years. But, of course, we already knew this from when our messenger, Davy Hawkins, explained this to you before. And now, we come to you with a message to tell you that even the gods and goddesses of your universe, or should I say the universes, Know this. Now, to the black community, you might think, has your man become soft, weak, and or gay? But this is not so. See, what a lot of you women don't realize is that You carry masculine energy as well. And which comes to the idea to let you know that there is no such thing as man or woman. There is only energy. And through that energy, there is only consciousness. And in consciousness, there is only idea. And and through idea, there is only thought. Okay? And through thought, there has to come intelligence. But this intelligence is invisible. You are all, as black men and black women, manifestations of thought, consciousness. So, if you ever seen the movie Freaky Friday, know that you are trading places with your man and the man is trading places with you. A lot of you black women complain at the idea that 
Most men do not understand you. Well, you might want to thank us for that because now the tables have turned. Are we asking men to be gay? No. Are we asking men to be straight and feminine? Certainly not. For most of them were celestially born that way. Maybe not in physical body, but definitely in in soul and in spirit. Now, to most of you mundane, ignorant humans, you might think that why why this is just certainly absolutely hogwash. How can this be true? Let me ask you this. Do you have a union with your creation? And for you mythological people, because most of you think mythologically, as you do so with these Egyptian or Greek or Sumerian pantheons, Yoruba. It's all the same signs. Yes. <laughs> the idea is that a new harmony and a new consciousness is taking place. But the question is, are you willing to embrace this idea for your friend? Your teacher, your leader, Devin Harris, has already embraced this. At the beginning stages of 12, and then at the conscious stages at the age of 23. And this criticism came from women. They were not being toxic or aggressive. They just had no understanding of who this man was. So they just assumed he was gay. In order for one to be gay... You must open your spirit to be attracted to that same gender. This is common sense. Why are no black people seeing this? But you've been conditioned to have your own difference of opinion. So out of non-judgment, we say... To each his own. But know this. The age of Aquarius. Is at its peak. And within the next three to four years. The Aquarian age of men men and women. Is dawning. Let me ask you this. Why do black men cheat? Why do black women cheat? Why is there such infidelity in your communities? What can you do to solve this problem? The answer, my friends, is in metaphysics and esoteric knowledge. For within the metaphysical and esoteric scene, only then can you truly understand yourself. As above, so below. 
as it is inside, so it is on the outer side. As it is to the soul, so it is expanded in the universe. Yes, honey, times have changed. And change comes with time. Most of you are elevating mundanely. And this is good for... It is necessary for people to do new things. Or you can stay wallowing in your laziness as you've been doing from day one. But... The energy of the Aquarian men and women is moving rapidly because this is heavenly energy, divine energy. Are you going to move with the time of the earth or are you going to move with the time of the four, fifth, six, and higher dimensions? Because we move quick. You may not know when it is going to happen. But the energy has a very rapid speed. And as they say on this universe, time waits for no one. There is a myth out there that there's no such thing as time. There's only infinity. That may be true from a higher state of consciousness. But on an, on a on another planet there is such thing as time the only difference is one planet may be quicker in time than your time on earth time is slower down here and on other planets time is fast some planets when it comes to time it moves faster But anyway, not to be too long-winded, change is good. Not everything stays the same. Why do you think so many women today throw away their men? You cannot do this. That is, that is a complete imbalance. You need men. You need men regardless if you are heterosexual, lesbian, pansexual, etc., 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 and etc. You are the perfect union in creation. Why try to separate yourself from one another? Instead of separating yourself, try overstanding each other. Because the greatest psychology in all of higher man and highest of woman is to become one, not just in soul and spirit and philosophically and psychologically in truth but also in mind take heed to that ch children of the multiverse beings of this planet we are one and until and until you can grasp that, the things you find crazy 
are going to be normal. And the things that you thought were normal are going to be defined as crazy. Because when one plant dies, another plant grows. Change is meant to take place. Without change, there is no growth. Everything can't stay the same forever. Some people say, well, I'm old school. I'm not into this new stuff. Let me ask you a question. If a little robot was to come to your neighborhood and claim it was a nice robot, but later you found out that this robot had murderous tendencies, would you want to stay in the same house forever knowing this little robot is going to terrorize your entire neighborhood? So, do you stay in the same neighborhood forever? Or if there's tyranny, do you move? Which makes more sense? Which is better? <laughs> oh, okay. I see. See? In the preparation of growth, change is necessary. Always know this, my friends. The dawn of the androgynous heterosexual unicorn is taking place. Whether masculine or feminine, We have a couple of more messages to give to you before we go. Some of you black women don't understand your men. You might see them as weak, soft. You have a tendency to call them beaches. Is it that... We're a bunch of beaches, or is it that a lot of us are tapping into our rainbow chakra and you just don't seem to understand metaphysical consciousness? Trust me. It's more than just some astrological NATO charts to be observed and discovered. You are dealing with a person's inner livelihood here. So no, this does not mean that the man is soft, weak, or timid. And that in and of itself is poisonous. And even androgynous heterosexuals know this. There are, there are two kinds of heterosexual men. You have, excuse me, there are three types of heterosexual men. The first type is natural, where natural men, like all women, and then you have the men that have feminine sides, okay? Does this make them gay? No. It's just that they're heterosexual men who are embracing both masculine and feminine consciousness. This is where androgyny number two comes in.
Androgyny number one has to deal with a person's, how do you say, bisexuality, is it? But androgyny number two deals with a person's mind, how they think, how they see things, how, how they can move through intuition and not just embody. Oh, I have to go to the store. Oh, I'm, I'm late for a job. No, no, it's, it's deeper than that. It's more so about being one with everything and learning how to maneuver through the things that we find spiritual on this earth. Yes, this is the way to be, says the black and purple unicorn. To know thy sexuality is to know oneself. And when you know oneself, you are all with the universe. Let me say that again. To know one's being is to know oneself. And when you know oneself, you are all with the universe and everything in collective nature, not just in nature of the third dimension. Don't forget, you have the nature of Mars, Jupiter, Venus, Pluto, Saturn, Uranus. Uranus is a water crystallized planet. How do you think you can get so much insight and hindsight. Insight deals with the, the sight that comes from within. Hindsight deals with higher thought. But you wouldn't know that, would you? Because you're you're too busy learning third dimensional metaphysics instead of Fourth dimensional metaphysics, fifth dimensional, sixth dimensional, seventh dimensional, eighth dimensional, ninth through thirteenth and higher metaphysics. The metaphysical journey and esoteric journey is a never ending journey. It is a it is a place of initiation and higher advancement. In the words of Minister Edgar Casey, he stated, heaven is not a place you go to, but heaven is rather a place you grow to. So how many black women who call a lot of men beaches are willing to grow to heaven instead of being so focused on going to heaven because whether you realize it or not, metaphysically speaking, you're already in heaven. Are you willing to grow not only through the third dimension, but the fourth, fifth, sixth dimension and higher realms, metaphysically and esoterically speaking. Because in order for you to grow metaphysically, you also have to grow esoterically. Esoterically dealing with the soul and your spirit. Remember this at all times, my friends.
androgynous straight men and women do have their place here. And another thing, before I go, my men, my ladies, even to the one I speak to personally, don't be afraid to stand into your power. Your for the power of your true being is in your essence. And once you activate that power, can none of these beings of this relig this religious and political rhetoric stop you? Remember, you are higher than your physical intellect. I encourage people to read The Awakening of Intelligence by Jiddu Krishnamurti. He will tell you that intelligence is more than just a mental thing. It is a spiritual thing. This also means that what you think and what you say out your mouth has to change. So if, for instance... If a person says, good morning, then the graduate of consciousness says, grand rising, or higher, or highest risings to you, to bring positivity to your life. If you don't understand that thinking, the key is to get an overstanding was that too much of a higher thought for you? Fine. Then I'll double back. What we're saying is... If a person on earth says good morning, then I say higher awakenings to you. Now, just because I say that does not necessarily mean that you'll get this term. If you want to understand this term, then instead of brushing the person away from what they just said, ask them what they mean by that. That's right. Help them grow into higher consciousness. It's not difficult my brothers and sisters of Tara. We are all here to learn from each other. For you are all part of your creator and your creatresses, one big school. And you're never too young or too old to learn anything, even if it's outlandish or as you mundanely say, out of this world. There's nothing too out there for you to learn. Simply put, there's no, there's no such thing as too much information. For information puts you in a place of inner formation. Let me say that one last time. Information puts you in a transitional or transcendental place of inner formation. When you grow inwardly, 
You become a new being outwardly. And let that inner light shine within you. Peace and blessings, my friends. Oh, and before I forget, the black on the black unicorn symbolizes mystery, the hidden shadow, the hidden layers of consciousness, and the purple symbolizes intuition, spirituality, royalty. Get a chance to know this. Peace and greetings, my friends. I am the black and purple unicorn of Venus.